Hey guys, so in today's video I'm going to show you how to use your Switch to be able to stream from your PC and this will enable you to be able to play games straight from the PC onto the Switch using a software that I came across that not a lot of people have been covering to be honest and there's also an issue with uh, using one of the versions of it there's a second version and a lot of people have been having issues with it not even being able to connect to the Switch so I'm going to tell you the um, how to fix it basically just need to install a program and that'll sort it right out so yeah let's jump straight to the PC and we'll get it started so assuming your uh, switch is already hacked you want to come to this uh, page that I'll put in the description and you want to get the latest version which is here 0 0.2 um, so you want to come down here and just download the zip and it doesn't matter where well you download it to just as long as you have it on your desktop or in a file or literally anywhere you want so as you can see I've got mine here um, I'll just take it to the desktop and if you just extract it so I've just extracted it into a, another folder called in-home on my desktop and basically you get the n arrow which you'll put onto your switch and you get the Windows desktop app itself um, you just want to put in your IP address um, and leave that for now it should be fine if you go over to your switch and what you want to do is input your switches so I just powered off my switch took out the SD card and I will now put it into the computer so once your SD card is inserted into the PC you want to just navigate to it so in my case USB drive J you want to navigate to your switch folder because this is where you put all your NRO apps they'll appear in the homebrew launcher so you just want to literally drag it over and, and basically copy it into this folder. I've already done, as you can see, it's here on mine. You basically just drag in and drop in. And once it's on your switch, you don't need to do anything else with the switch. You want to just literally take out the SD card, put it back into your switch, and depending on not if you have auto RCM enabled, you'll have to uh, put your switch into recovery mode or if you have auto RCM enabled, you literally just want to boot up your Tegra. Uh, you want to just load up Tegra RCM and inject your payload like usual. So your switch will come back on. You just want to enter and you want to navigate to your folder, your homebrew folder. So I guess album with A and then hold the right bumper down. And you'll notice that you actually have a new app, don't ask why I have two, We've, there's actually a way you can install it through uh, the Homebrew App Store but sometimes it's just easier to, to drag it straight onto the SD card. So you want to launch the in-home switch in, it'll tell you what your IP address is, like I say mine will be blurred out, but what you want to do is go follow the instructions, I'll just make it simple, you literally just go back to your desktop, lo launch the Windows, launch the in-home streaming app, type in the IP address that you'll see on the switch into the PC uh, you can choose the quality of the stream so if your internet's pretty decent I normally set it out about just in the middle of 25 to 50 you hit connect right mine has worked but if you've been following mine this description of this tutorial so far yours probably won't work and what you need to do is pretty simple come back up to the in-home switching and it tells you that you need screen capture recorder so what you need to do is click on screen capture recorder I'll put a link to this in the description as well click on exe which will download it to wherever you've got it saved simply download it and follow the install for screen capture recorder then you can exit the screen capture recorder app and once you've installed that screen capture recorder it'll, it'll simply just stream, it'll start working straight to your computer. So as you can see I'm just going to go into Steam and choose a game that I think we can, I don't know, I guess to, to show latency off. I'm going to play one of my favourites, Dead Rising. Um, so once you get it launching on your PC it'll launch straight onto the uh, Switch. Depending on what uh, quality settings you chose um, will depend on how good it looks. Um, I don't want to set the, the megabit too high, otherwise you kind of get latency 
is pretty bad like the higher the megabit is the latency gets worse and I also have to say that the sound isn't great if you can hear that the sound comes through but it's just really crackly and I preferably wouldn't play the game like this um, with a sound this bad and I don't think they're currently working on any on any fixes so if this is a massive issue I suggest you get some Bluetooth headphones and just connect them to your PC. Um, probably be the best way to uh, sort that issue out. So if I just go straight into my save, I'll turn the sound down. It's a bit distracting. Alright, so here I am in my current save. And we'll, do, we'll just do some tests in, in the safe room for now. I don't know if you can jump. Yeah, you can jump in the safe room. So if I click jump, which is obviously this yellow button here. Three, two, one. You see? If I just give you an example, I'm pressing it now. You can kind of see. He should technically jump. If it was perfect, he should be jumping as he jumps on the on the PC screen. But obviously, you can see that there's like a split second latency. It's actually quite it's actually quite bad to be honest. Um. If you was playing a more relaxed game, trying to think um, a, a more chilled out game, where you, or maybe like a Telltale's text adventure game, um, I know you don't have a lot of reaction time on those because they have quick time events, but I don't know, a more chilled out game, I guess, this would work really nicely, just playing it in bed and such, but it's, like, I'll, I'll open the door, I'll show you another example of latency. So if I press, this is technically B, because we're using an Xbox controller, the translates to an Xbox controller. So if I zoom out, get them both in frame, so, you see, a little bit of lag there. Alright, I'm just going to go outside. I'll see if I can get any examples of me actually hitting zombies for you. It's just a split second off. If you're not a massive, if this is not a massive, massive issue for you, then yeah, you can have a great time playing through some of your games. But it'd be, it's just such a shame that there's just a tiny bit of latency and it can ruin the experience for you. Um, they have actually brought Android over to Switch, and it's currently in, they're currently testing it at the moment. So if if that actually becomes available to users everywhere we can get apps like steam link and i'm pretty sure the latency would be next to nothing so until that happens i guess we're just gonna have to deal with the little bit of latency as you can see you can still it still functions i mean it does look pretty amazing like what you can do it's just streamed to the pc you can kind of get a little bit of the latency here as well like, like i said it's not a massive it's not massive, but it is, it is there. The way his feet moves, like it's just a tiny, tiny bit behind. Um, yeah, well, we're just gonna leave, we're just gonna leave the warehouse and actually fight some zombies. But like I say, on the 720p screen, the games look really good. I don't get any issues with artifacting or anything like that. Um, so we're actually in, inside the mall now. Oh shit, that was close. Alright, I'll kind of just... This may be difficult, I've got one hand. Alright, as you can see, I'm pressing. Press, press. See, I can play it like this, but it's whether or not you're going to put up with the latency. Anyway, this is all free. If, you, if your switch is hacked, um, you can just get this, the in-home switching app. Uh, all free, you don't have to pay for anything, so it's just, if you want to try it and see if you enjoy playing it like this, then go right ahead. So, yeah, like I say, it works. I mean, it does what it says. You know what I mean? So it streams. You switch to your, your PCT switch. So how you use that is up to you. Um, but yeah, that's going to conclude it for today's video. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Leave a uh, comment if you want to, if you want any help. I'll try and get some help for you. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching.